From the moon, it wouldn't be difficult to detect human radio transmissions from Earth. In fact, the Earth is transmitting so strongly in a specific band of frequencies that we can measure our own signals after they have been reflected off the moon back down to Earth. Hi, I'm Ben McKinley, a Castro PhD student at the Australian National University in Canberra. In a recently published paper, we have observed the moon at low frequencies to see whether we could use it to calibrate our telescope. We expected the moon to give off a predictable radio signal that we could compare to more distant, unknown objects in the sky. We used the prototype of a new radio telescope, the Murchison Wide Field Array. It's located in Western Australia, where levels of man-made noise are low. Hundreds of these small antennas are connected to receive the very faint, low-frequency radio signals from space. Here is an image of the moon, as seen by the telescope, at a frequency of 100 MHz. The surprising result was just how bright the moon appears in this image. The reason has to be that we are detecting our own noise! FM radio stations around the world all transmit between 87.5 and 108 megahertz, which is exactly where we are picking up the strongest signal from the moon. This gave us the idea that we can observe other orbiting objects in the same way, for instance the International Space Station. Here is a sequence of one second images showing the ISS moving across the West Australian sky in late November 2012. So now we know how strongly we're broadcasting into space. Could anyone be listening? For an observer orbiting our nearest neighbouring star, Proxima Centauri, the Earth's FM radio signals are extremely weak, about one billion times weaker than what we measured for the Moon. But, who's to say they don't have telescopes one billion times better than our own? But even if they did, our news would be four years out of date, which is how long it takes for the Earth's signals to reach Proxima Centauri.